Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Clash on Clashington. Today we will be going over the second Fixit vid, which will cover a couple revisions made to cards that have been released to date. Now before we delve into these revisions, we at Home Brewery would like to announce a new addition to the Dropbox that will clarify the game of Clash even more. This is the Card Clarification List, or CCL for short. The Card Clarification List has been made for the purpose of clarifying the effects of particular cards. If in need of an update, a new, revised version of this document will be uploaded to the Dropbox. The two cards added to the card clarification list are For the Two of Us and Room for One More. Elaborating on how, if slapped out by another circumstance, the player who is in control of said card chooses where they would like to place the minion piles once the Clashington has been reconfigured. Furthermore, if minions, conscious or unconscious, do not fulfill the level requirement of the new minion slot they are placed in, they are immediately sent to the torn up pile. Now that we have the card clarification list out of the way, there is only one more thing to announce involving Clash before we move on to the changes of cards. Once these cards are updated, annotation and description changes will be made to the videos they were first shown in in order to inform players that the cards have been changed. Along with this, every card mentioned in this Fixit vid will be changed in the Dropbox as well once the video has been uploaded. Fixit vids for cards will not be uploaded as often since most cards are balanced, but every now and then, to which we guesstimate being monthly at the shortest time of spans for we do not want to constantly make revisions, a new Fixit vid shall be uploaded. Since everything has now been explained, it's time to go on to the recent card changes. As a means of organizing these changes, this video will show the old card, the new revision of said card, and the reason why we have changed it. So on that note, starting at number 1 is Almanac's Farmer. Old text. When you play Almanac's Farmer, search your deck for a non-item circumstance or soil card and put it into your hand. New text. When you play Almanac's Farmer, search your deck for a non-item circumstance or soil card and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Why the changes? Well, first of all, we misspelled Almanac's Farmer name in the effect. Secondly, we forgot to add that you need to shuffle your deck after searching for the card. For number 2, we have Barrel of Fishies. Old text. You may spend an action in this Clashington to place a fishy minion counter, type fishy, level 1, buffing is 10, in this Clashington. New text. You may spend an action in this Clashington to place a fishy minion token, type fishy, level 1, buffing is 10, on your side of this Clashington. Why the changes? We have decided to change the term counter to token for it sounds more authentic in the game. But aside from this, we also added that the token must be placed on your side of the Clashington, for if you could place it on the opponent's side, slapping out enemy minions would be a little too powerful for the cost of this card. At number 3, we have Brussels Sprout Bomb. Old text. You may have a level 1 or 2 minion in this Clashington, regain consciousness. New text. You may have a level 1 or 2 minion in an empty slot in this Clashington, regain consciousness. Why the changes? Making the target in an empty slot simplifies the slapping out mechanic. At number 4, we have Bugging Beetle. Old text. When Bugging Beetle is played, place it in an empty slot on your opponent's side of this Clashington. All minions on Bugging Beetle's side of a Clashington lose 5 buffiness, including itself. New text. Place Bugging Beetle in an opponent's empty minion slot when played. While conscious, minions your opponent controls in this Clashington lose 5 buffiness. If slapped out, the slapping minion loses 10 buffiness. Why the changes? Prior to this change, an opponent could easily slap out Bugging Beetle with no repercussions. Now, this beetle has gained a little more power that makes it a little more worthy of playing. At number 5, we have Cannonball Buster. Old text. At the beginning of your turn, put a powder counter on Cannonball Buster. Remove all powder counters from Cannonball Buster and make it inactive. An enemy minion in this Clashington with buffiness less than or equal to 10 times the amount of powder counters on Cannonball Buster becomes unconscious. New text. At the beginning of your turn, put a powder token on Cannonball Buster. Remove all powder tokens from Cannonball Buster and make it inactive. An enemy minion in this Clashington with buffiness less than or equal to 10 times the amount of powder tokens on Cannonball Buster becomes unconscious. Why the changes? Like before with Barrel of Fishies, we have decided to change the term counter to token for it sounds more authentic. At number 6, we have Flower Buddy. Old text. When Flower Buddy is played, you may place a Bud Minion counter, type plant, level 1, buffiness 10, in another Clashington. New text. When Flower Buddy is played, you may place a Bud Minion token, type plant, 
level 1, buffing his 10, on your side of another clashing 10. Why the changes? Again, the text changed from counter to token, but furthermore, we added that the token must be placed on your side of the clashing 10. For the ability of slapping out enemy minions this way would be too strong for the cost. At number 7, we have Rush's Sugar. Old text. Gain an extra action in this Clashington this turn. New text. Gain an extra action in this Clashington this turn. You cannot use that action to draw a card. Why the changes? We've come to realize that, with the capability of drawing two cards, Rush's Sugar was basically a better version of Paper's Please, since it offered more utility. Now, the card is more balanced, restricting this effect, for it now makes Paper's Please a more suitable competitor against Rush's Sugar when being placed into decks. At number 8, we have Scramble. Old text. An opponent randomly discards two cards from their hand. The cards are placed in their torn up pile. New text. An opponent discards two cards of their choice from their hand. The cards are placed in their torn up pile. You can only play one scramble per turn. Why the changes? The ability to randomly discard cards made the destruction of strategies a little too crippling for opponents. Along with this, we added the once per turn ability to ensure that opponents have time to rebuild their strategies, as opposed to having it completely wiped out in one swipe of scrambles. And last but not least, at number 9, we have Smart Soil. Old text. Draw a card. If you have the shovel on this Clashington, you may draw two cards instead and gain an extra action. New text. Draw a card. If you have the shovel on this Clashington, you may draw two cards instead and gain an extra action in this Clashington. Why the changes? We've added that the action is added in a specific Clashington for it clarifies that it cannot be used in any other Clashington. Wow, that was a mouthful of information and changes to cover, but it was sure worth it. On that note, I hope all you Clash Commanders out there enjoyed the new changes, and I wish you all the best of luck. Keep on clashing.